Hi everybody, uh, I'm Brian Gallagher and I'm going to try to show you how you can make uh, multiple Google Meetings uh, using Google Meet. So I've set up my, my demo class and I can see here that I've got my regular Meet link. So this has been generated kindly uh, by Google. So when I click on that, I'll be in my regular uh, meeting, just like my main session. Okay, hi, that's me. Okay, I'm going to come back. And so back to my regular ID. So this is me just in Google Classroom, of course. So from the Google Apps, I'm going to choose on Google Meet. And of course, I want to join or start a meeting. So I'm going to just try to start a meeting and ask me to enter the meeting code or a nickname to start your own meeting. Enter a nickname or leave it blank. OK, so I'm just going to try uh, I make my, my name, Epsilon Major, which is a bit of a Latin. OK, and then I start up. And I can see that this meeting has started. OK, but already uh, my original meeting has started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to go for my Google Meet here. I'm going to try and start a meeting. And give that another name. And that's my nickname for my meetings. So if you're going to look up on me. OK, so there's that meeting there. OK, that's Lambda Major. And I've got Epsilon Major. And I've got my original one there. Uh, and so I'm going to try and do one more there. And I'm going to start another meeting. And this one is going to be Umidio. Okay, so camera is starting. So I have my Mumidio. And I've got my Lambda Major, and I've got my Epsilon Major, and I have got my original Google Meet working there. Okay, so uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to try to come back to these ones here. So these meetings, uh, I'm not going to do anything with it uh, until I'm ready. And I'm going to try to use my uh, Mute tab extension. So the Mute tab extension uh, is something that you can easily get from Google Chrome Web Store. So this one here, very popular Mute tab. You just have to load it on. OK, and so I can mute that tab there. That's my original. I can mute that tab. And I can mute that tab. And I can mute that last one as well there. OK. So they're on mute, they're on mute, they're on mute. Okay, and this is me back and I am in my regular uh, Google Meet. So from here, I can start my class and with my students, uh, all I have to uh, welcome them and we can have our kind of like regular chat. Uh, I can join and I can present and I can do all sorts of things. And if I want to have a document there that I can share with the students, all I have to do is make a Google Doc. And in the Google Doc, okay, let's go with this one here. I've got it prepared. Okay, and these are going to be my uh, my rooms that I've got prepared. Uh, and so, of course, I don't want the students to uh, see the things that I've got. Okay, so this is one that I need from before. Okay, so for my room one. So, of course, remember, this one here is my main meeting. So this one here, my Epsilon Major. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and the settings for this one here, everything's looking OK. So for this meet, I can just um, copy the link for it. OK, and then room one, I'm just going to highlight it and I'm going to right click and I'm going to link. And then I will just paste in my link. 
that will be removed. And then I'm going to try and come back. And so my second room is Lambda Major. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy on that link there too. And I'm going to try and right click again. And I'm going to link that file. And then I come to my third one. And again, I'll copy the link. And I'll come back and I've got my room three. I'll right click. And I just paste in the link. And I am good to go. Okay. Um, so for this document here, these are Brian's meeting rooms. So this is now saved in my Google Drive. I am going to come back to uh, my demo class. And all I'm going to do is tell my students that my breakout rooms are here. And I'm just going to simply add in the document that I just made there from my Google Drive. And that file was should be the most recent one that's on my file, Brian's Meeting Rooms. And I'm going to add that file in there. And then I am going to try and post it to my students. OK, so for the students, so just like anything else in the Google Classroom, they'll be able to click onto that doc there. And in my instruction, I will have explained to them to try to join the meeting. So all they have to do is click on the link and then jump to that meeting. And they can join in the meeting. OK, so all I've done there is I just I've created several meetings. And they're all in separate tabs. And I make sure that I have them all muted. And so I can go in one by one and I can mute or unmute as I go through. And at the end, I'll just tell my students to, to leave the meeting. And that is it. OK, so that is a fairly simple way to make a collection of Google Meet Rooms for your classroom. OK, I'm Brian Gallagher. I hope that's been helpful. Stay safe, everybody.